Hello, people of YouTube world. Um, we're redoing our kitchen right now, and we're kind of having like the little rustic kind of country thing, country thing going on. So we're doing the stars and natural finishes on the wood and stuff. And my wife, she wanted to take and have a horseshoe for the the good luck kind of thing. So I went to go pick her up a horseshoe. And they don't come in singles, they come in two packs. So you get two horseshoes. At least where I went to go get it. It was at Tractor Supply. And I was thinking, well, we only really wanted one horseshoe up, so what am I going to do with the other one? And after sitting there looking at it for a couple of seconds, it struck me our last name starts with an S. Go figure. And I figured out if I put the horseshoes together like this, it makes an S shape. <clears throat> so I figured we can have the horseshoes hanging and I can just weld them together right here and make an S out of it and hang the S up and the horseshoes so we have no waste. It keeps with the theme that we're going on with. And it works. So I'm going to attempt to weld these together right now. I have to move it over just a little bit so I can get my grounding thump on. And I'm sure somebody will figure out that, oh yeah, it might help if I actually make the S with it. I'm looking at it upside down, so. Um, I do not claim to be a welder by profession. I am a welder because I have one and I can play around with it. So let me get that readjusted here. So there will probably be people yelling and screaming at their computers when they watch this. I do wear a face shield, but I don't wear the gloves or anything else like that, leathers. That and this is a small project. So probably should have tried figuring this out first. Because I don't want it to come out crooked. Yeah, that still shows. And I'm trying to get it somewhat lined up. But I thought it was a cool idea and I thought it'd be kind of cool to show off my idea. And if anybody could do it better, then hey, you got an idea for free. So let's see how this turns out.
All right. Quick and simple, and I'm going to clean it up, and we're going to put some just colored enamel paint on it, and that will be. All right, folks. So I've done uh, my welding part, and. I've had to go in, do a little bit of touch up, and I went back with the grinder and did some cleanup. And while I was doing my cleanup, I realized that I was getting my S shape through the viewfinder on my video camera. Well, when I did that, it means my S shape is reversed. So I completely did my S backwards. So what I was looking to get was, I don't know how well this is going to transfer to camera, but I wanted the channel on the groove right here, or on the horseshoe, I wanted that channel to be the face part of it. Uh, so, I'm not wasting this one. <clears throat> I can't use it inside right now, so, because it's not what I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over, and I get the S shape. I still have my S shape, and it's nice and clean. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray paint this one and it's going on the outside. In the meantime, I've already corrected my mistake. So I've already went and got two more horseshoes and corrected my mistake. And I have it <laughs> the way that I want it to face with the channel going through and I've already welded it together and cleaned it up the best I could so that's that so I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead and um, the next thing you'll be seeing is these in a painted state so be right back okay folks back again this is the <coughs> excuse me the final step I have my first coat of paint on, it's still drying, so I'm not going to touch it, but I am going to get it in as close as I can. And this is, the gray one is the one that we're putting inside our house, because the gray kind of matches what we already have going on color-wise inside. But there's the for first horseshoe, and right there's my weld. So I think I did pretty good on that for not being a welder. And then all the way around, and up to the end of that one. And this one, oh, now it wants to show, oh, it's because I had the video upside down. I had the viewfinder flipped over when I was filming earlier. That's why it showed up upside down. So this is the shape that it, I wanted. I wanted the that channel piece in the middle kind of showing. Gives a little more character. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, the red one, it's the one that's going outside. And our home is kind of a dark gray uh, kind of color, so this will stand out pretty good. Uh, as you can see, the back of the horseshoe on this one is flat. And I felt that on this one, the flat would actually sit better against the wall. Outside, I can make it work. But there's my weld spot right there in the middle. So, I mean, yeah, it's not perfect, but from a distance, it's all right. And then you can see the flat going all the way around to the end of that horseshoe. Either way, I thought it was a fun little project. And I haven't really seen it on YouTube or anything like that. So I thought I'd share it with everybody else. I've been watching other people doing creative, uh, like woodworking on a lathe on YouTube. And it kind of inspired me to get out and just kind of do something a little different. So step outside your box, do something creative, do something fun. And if you mess up, hey, this right here, they cost five dollars. A little bit of spray paint. So if I messed up and it was unusable, I'm out of five bucks, but I get to learn out of it. I was always told when you're learning how to weld, if the wire's not burning, you're not learning. So, anyway, take it for what it is. 
get outside, have fun, enjoy yourself. I'll catch y'all on the flip side. Bye.